Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, November 10th and Sunday, November 11th, 2018 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today, for these days, is I stand in my power at this threshold of miracles. And we have some interesting dates. We have November 10th. 1 1 1 1 1 and then we have November 11th 1 1 1 1 1 1 so we are using these 11 energy <laughs> activation um thresholds i like to call them thresholds thresholds are activations and really it's up to you what it what you're going to focus on and utilize how i like to look at it because it's a nice wide perspective and we want to do that with jupiter and sagittarius is this is a threshold for miracles now i know the world right now feels very intense <laughs> there are fires and mass shootings and oh my gosh the politics um there is so much going on and yet when so much is going on we are pushed even more to carry the light now, somebody who watches these regularly, hello, shout out to you. I'm not going to say your name, but she posted today, like, I'm feeling weird. On one half, I'm feeling like, okay, and like the light. And on the other half, I'm feeling really like, whew, grumpy and angry. And I think a lot of us are going through um, those feelings. Our soul is kind of rising up. We are reaching for the light. And there's a part of ourselves that knows that things are okay. And yet, the other part of us that's still in this density that hasn't quite risen up is feeling the energy of the 3d the energy of reality you know earth's reality <laughs> as we see it on that 3d level right now what we need to keep doing is hold the light for that reality side for the grumpy side for the anger in us and yet keep reaching for the next highest there's some level of balance and i really do think that these feelings and these energies do have to do with this 11 energy. Another way of looking at what's going in the world is it's really interesting the degrees that we as humans need to be pushed to in order to wake up. Like it's like spirit really has to knock us over the head in order to wake up. So this is really a call as well to see those little places where spirit is knocking for you. God universe is knocking for you to find your soul <laughs> without having to go to drastic levels to remember the light within you. So just remember that through this weekend. This really is a threshold to miracles and your work is standing in your power, meaning standing in your soul. So let's dig into the astro. We are working with the moon in Sagittarius through most of the day on Saturday, making all of the connections. Moon in Sagittarius bringing us an advance of the Jupiter in Sagittarius lessons. Those expansion, um, higher potential, uh, infinite possibility energies. We're here to learn. <laughs> We're here not to say I know the truth, but to really learn all the pathways to truth and by truth i mean love so moon in sagittarius is first connecting to venus venus is retrograde for about one more week in libra this connection to uh uh libra is asking us to expand in relationship with ourselves understanding truthfulness in relationship with ourselves it's very interesting because i have <laughs> Got really interesting cards. Um, I have the lover's card and I have this aloneness card. You know, in this lover's card, we usually think of two people and aloneness, we usually think of ourselves. But I really do think that these are both really about yourself in and through this little connection, really expanding in the energy that you offer yourself, in the uh, compassion um, that you can offer yourself, in the self-love energy that you can offer yourself that's going to make waves within your life, outside of yourself, and just exclusively with yourself. So spend a little time tending to yourself in this time of miracles, even if it is just like a five minute meditation where you really connect in and offer yourself love. That would be very powerful, very expansive in your life. Next connection is the moon connecting to Mars. <laughs> so Mars is finishing up in Aquarius. Aquarius is the sign where it did go retrograde, like I said yesterday. So again, it's like coming into this balancing energy, asking us to spend a little time with the young within us. Now, because of the events in the world, <laughs> the young may be very activated in this energy, that fighting energy. But what we really want to activate beyond the fighting is the passion. 
where is the passion? Passion within us often keys us into a part of our soul responsibility. Now, sometimes the passion can get distorted. <laughs> so we have to be very clear with ourselves, hence that meditation earlier, getting very, clearing the pathways, getting into our innocence um, and consciousness. <laughs> but um, this to me is like an activation in how we want to move passionately forward again through these 11 11 11 1 1 1 threshold energies one as a number by itself is also the number of being the pioneer making a new start so it's like here's a chance for a new start it's a very 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 powerful energy and 11 as well also can represent healing a new start we're healing and we're moving forward from there the last connection before the moon shifts into Capricorn is the moon connecting to Uranus. Uranus is an Aries. And what I've been talking about with the Aries energy is that I am energy. A deep healing of the soul is going on for Aries energy. Um, so Aries within everybody's sign, reconnection to the soul. So that moon is like, hey, your soul is this infinite energy. Connect into it. Now, the last thing I want to mention by that moon and Uranus, if you do not get your volcanoes under control, if you stay in that anger with that moon activation with Mars, you may not act in the best interest of your soul. That's why we want to shift from that anger into that passion place. So be very vigilant of that because that moon Uranus thing can be spontaneous bursts, uh, spontaneous outbursts <laughs> um, from that volcano center within you. We then have the moon shifting into Capricorn. What's well, at 7.54 p.m. Pacific time? And this message came through so clearly and, you know, it's kind of something that has been brought to the focus over and over. Capricorn energy used to really be about honoring society and what society wants and looking good in the world, making your way through the world in a really great manner. But really... Capricorn energy, I feel at its highest and best, is about soul purpose energy. And so the, the line from, what was that show, Heroes, was like, save the world, save the cheerleader. It's not about saving the cheerleader. To save the world, we must connect to our souls. This is how we're birthing the new world. This is how we're bringing forth the new golden age. This is how we bring forth the new earth. Whatever you want to call it, it is by reconnection to the soul. The soul is always there, but we've disconnected from it by making so many other things important. As the moon goes through Capricorn, lighting up Saturn in Capricorn, the south node in Capricorn, um, Pluto and Capricorn, these Capricorn energies, the moon is reminding us as we tune into our feelings around what's going into the world, we have to connect to our soul and our soul will guide us through. So on Sunday, our first connection is actually the sun, the sun connecting to Pluto in Capricorn. So we have the sun in Scorpio, Whew, Pluto in Capricorn. That's part of what's going on. That's part of the heaviness. Even though we had Jupiter finish up in Capricorn, we still are going through sun, or sorry, Jupiter finish up in Scorpio. We still have the sun in Scorpio bringing up the shadows, especially when the sun connects to Pluto. There's power in this connection. There is empowerment in this connection, especially if you know really know who you are and you're really connected to that soul. But you also may find some things coming up and some things falling apart that do not feed into your truest power. You may also feel like <laughs> that fighting energy coming through as that happens. It's like, I must protect myself. What are you really protecting? Chances are something that you're protecting within yourself, you're not connected to that soul. What you're pr protecting is probably something that does need to fall away. So be very aware. Moon connecting to Saturn. Again, Saturn in Capricorn is reminding us all of our deeper purpose, which is soul-based. So the moon coming through is like, hey, let's connect you to that. But let me show you some of these hidden motivations, these hidden other things that are keeping you from utilizing the full potential of your soul. This is at five degrees. Five degrees is that degree of understanding. So just keep in mind, there's understanding coming forth and hopefully layers being pulled off so you can get to your next level of consciousness into the innocence 
and power and light of your soul. And again, I'm going back to this. Spend a little alone time with yourself to let that happen. The final connection is the moon in Capricorn connecting to Neptune energy. Neptune energy as well as the nodes connecting to Chiron bringing up some karmic stuff. So these layers that are coming through, they may have some karmic, uh, karmic connections, karmic connotations. Um, it may even be some completion of karmic work that you had to do. You know, I feel like some of us are like, I feel like I have a deeper purpose, but you know, it's not really happening. It may be some of these karmic, uh, I don't know, karmic contracts are just going through their completion time. So just really be able to listen in, tune in to the deeper messages that Spirit's sending you in and through these 11 days, like 11, 11, 11. This has some major activation codes <laughs> and is that threshold for miracles for lack of any other better way of placing it. Look for the miracles that are working for you at this time. I promise they're there even as it feels like you know, the world is falling apart. So that being said, <laughs> you can book a reading with me. I'm keeping my Jupiter in Sagittarius reading through this weekend, and then I'm going to start, you know, offering something else. Um, so that is $33. Last chance for that. Um, you can email me for any other reading, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. And there is enough love in the world for you. You have the power. Namaste.